Moving on to other countries, Egypt still burning with a desire to punish Islamic State militant groups for executing 21 Egyptian Christians has launched a second wave of airstrikes on Islamic State targets in Libya. Cairo is now rallying more concerted international efforts towards destroying the extremist group. Our Kim Yuan Bin has this report. Anger erupted in Egypt. One day after the Islamic State militant group released a gruesome video showing the beheading of 21 Egyptian Christians. That rage rained down on IS control areas in Libya, where the decapitations are believed to have taken place. Egyptian state television aired footage of fighter jets departing a hangar. The words Long Live Egypt can be seen written on a jet's tail as it sets off on its mission. This was followed by night vision aerial footage showing airstrikes destroying reported IS camps, training sites, and weapons storage areas. Of course, what happened is a barbaric and savage terrorist act that goes back to the Stone Age. I can't imagine who would do that. Egypt has every right to defend itself, and it must take steps against this type of terrorism carried out by those fundamentalists. While the bombings were taking place, some of the victims' families held a funeral service for their loved ones in El Or village of Samalut, though their bodies presumably remain in Libya. Egypt's President Abdur Fattah Sisi is calling on the international community to expand its fight against the IS group, beyond its strongholds in Iraq and Syria, to include Libya. He says the situation in Libya is a clear threat to world peace and security. The UN Security Council and Secretary General Ban Ki-moon condemned the mass murder as heinous and cowardly. Pope Francis, in his Monday address, urged Catholics to remember their brothers who died for the mere fact of confessing Christ. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.